You're listening to the Curious About Cannabis podcast. You know, of all of the different things that came into the, the first role that I took in the industry, um, I was a laboratory director. And when I took the role, you know, I went through a series of interviews with the VP of Ops. And here I am thinking in my mind, oh, it's a startup. So, you know, they, they have a building. They probably have a couple pieces of equipment. They just need me to come in and, and kind of polish some things up, you know, hire some people, train them and all these different things. And, oh, my God, was I wrong? Like, it was just... <laughs> It was intense, Jason. It was literally, I walked into a building that had been freshly demoed and all I was standing in was dirt. (laughs) Dirt and a big table, a fold-out table with these huge plans all over it. And I'm looking at him like a deer in headlights, like, what do you expect me to do with this? You know, I'm a chemist. I I need a beaker, an Erlenmeyer flask, something. (laughs) I'll tell you you what what, what equipment to get, but uh, I can't build the Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So I'm, you know, I'm really ambitious. I I love challenges. I love for, you know, people to tell me, no, you can't do that. So that it can force me to show them, yes, I can. And I remember going home with a copy of those plans. A little bit of tears dried up on my face. And I I talked to my husband and I'm like, I have to build this building. I have to actually manage the contractors. I have to manage, you know, vetting the equipment and how it's going to fit into this building process flow wise, you know, electrical, the irrigation, like everything is involved. And I studied, I studied my butt off to understand blueprints and how to read those blueprints and how to interpret what my needs were from a visualization point of view to the contractors that were going to execute that. And I I really found that if you're open in your communication, if you are uh, honest and transparent with what you don't know, people are much more willing to collaborate with you and, and help you get to where you need to go. And that build out was really the start of me finding my my niche in the industry. It was the fun part. I love being able to have this blank canvas and just kind of paint it, you know, and, and actually paint it the right way because I came from, you know, a very standardized and high compliance, high regulated environment. So that is just ingrained in me anyway. And it was a total success. It was great. And now five years later, I have four build outs under my belt, uh, two that are virtual integrated uh, one that was just a processing facility and I, I keep going and it's just like they're, they're like babies you know you have these babies and there's a part of you that's that's there um, and that's not even touching on the staff like I oh that's one of my favorite parts <laughs> when we work untiringly so that our children are obliged obliged to learn the truth because it is only through that we can safely protect. You're listening to the Curious About Cannabis podcast.